I'm using an umber, a little bit of green, just a touch of orange just to lighten that up a little bit. But the orange doesn't overpower the mixture, so it becomes a warmer green. It's a nice way of neutralizing. See, if you notice on my palette, I have one green. And the reason I have one green, it's a transparent green, a very vibrant green, phthalo green. Now, I'm just going to take that right out of the, right out and just show this to you here. It's really, a, unto itself, it's a very sickening, sickening color in terms of it's, it's a synthetic green. But it's not the greens that I have in my palette, it's all these other colors that I have to modify that green to make it work. See, I can put a little bit of a, of a, warm yellow into that and make that a very vibrant green. I could do the same thing with the same green now and put this lemon green in, which creates a very acidic sort of green. And I can take the same green again and mix an orange into it, which softens it. These are all variations of the same green, out of the same green, so those are important. So now we've got these mixtures, I can use some of these. Okay, so let's take, pick this up again with the orange. Lighten it just a little bit. Now I'm going to come up here and start creating some different various temperature changes. So the light is over, is, the sky is out here. So I just want to give a little bit of lightness to some of these areas here that are around the sky. So it's like the sky lightening and moving and coming across the space and lightening some of this vegetation up. But not everywhere, just where it feels that it's appropriate. Again, Shapes and space, always about shapes. Detail is implied by fracturing up the spaces and shapes to smaller shapes. You know, your eye, the, the viewer's eye, is a lot more sophisticated than anything you're going to paint, meaning you can suggest many things and the eye will finish it. And that's the magic. People will say there's much more there than there really is. If you get your values right, and your temperature correctly, and for the appropriate temperature for the spaces, it'll work really well.